My bag is sinking low And I do believe it's time To get back to Miss Fanny You know she's the only one Who sent me here with her regards for everyone We do, we do a lot of originals and covers on our YouTube channel, and the way that we pick the covers, um, you know, if we had it our way, we would do an original every week instead of any covers at all. But if you're having a weekly series, you know, I'd have to be a pretty prolific songwriter to keep up with that. So we do like to mix in the covers. Um, the way we pick the covers, uh, sometimes it's suggestions from the viewers. You know, we get a lot of comments on our videos, people enjoy the cover, and then they have an idea for another one. Um, we actually have a tier on our Patreon where people get to, at a certain level, uh, whatever cover they decide, we, we will play it. Um, so that's one way. Uh, the other way is just really me and Tony kind of, you know, deciding, you know, being inspired by something and deciding to cover it that week. Uh, Tony and I, and Tony Lindgren, the lead guitarist that I play with a lot, um, she, we have a really similar uh, music background uh, we, we like a lot of the same sort of genres and a lot of the same artists, so it makes it pretty easy to come up with, you know, common ground and, and music that we both are inspired by. So, and a lot of that is, you know, we, like, we like to say like old, you know, dad music, basically, from the 60s and 70s, a lot of that. Um, and then an occasional newer song, you know, songs that we grew up with in the 90s and the early 2000s, and, uh, and then some current stuff too. So it, like, we like to keep it you know, a variety and keep it interesting. So my writing process really depends on the song. Sometimes I'll, I'll come up with a chord idea, a series of chords, a progression that, you know, sparks something, and then the lyrics and the melody will come after that. Sometimes it's the lyrics and melody kind of pop into my head when I'm walking somewhere, or I'm on the bus, or whatever it might be. Um, and Sometimes they come uh, fully together, chords and melody and lyrics all at once. And that's how, like for instance, I wrote a song called Bernadette about a ghost um, haunting my apartment. That just kind of plopped out of wherever it is that songs come from, from the ether. And sometimes they just come fully formed and other times it will literally take me like seven years to start and then complete a song. And I'll just kind of keep coming back to it in little batches. So really depends and I think that's true for a lot of songwriters. Um, lately I've been trying a new thing where I actually sit down uh, you know at a certain time every day and and try to write and I, f I found that to be really nice because normally I'll just write whenever inspiration strikes me but I think having a bit of a structure and a work ethic about it really leads to a little bit more creativity. So I am excited to start making uh, a different format of video. Uh, from the very beginning on my channel, I've mostly stuck to live music performances. It'll just, you know, a song basically um, every time. And so lately I've been, you know, toying around with the idea of doing something different, kind of doing more talking videos, more gear reviews, um, you know, maybe like commentary, history lessons, uh, just whatever it might be that strikes, you know, the inspiration might strike uh, in a given week. And, you know, part of that is having this this microphone, uh, this podcasting microphone to sort of spark that inspiration. So, um, yeah, just, you know, I've, I've been inspired by some of my friends doing these things. You know, Mary Spender is, is an incredible music guru on YouTube. She's inspired me a lot in the last couple of years. Um, and yeah, it's just something I, I'm excited to try. And I think it's, it's kind of, I always really enjoy if I follow an artist and I get to see them speak on different issues and I really get a sense of, you know, their musical sensibility and who they are as a person when they're not just playing their instrument, you know, they're also speaking and talking and they have thoughts and opinions. And I think it'd be nice to share some of that too on my channel. Sure products have actually been a huge part of my whole career. Um, 
The Beta 58A is one of my favorite things ever that I own. Um, I, on every single tour that I go on, I bring that with me, and that I, I love the way that that brings out the clarity in my voice. So I tend to just, you know, use it at every show. And usually, sound people are really accommodating when you bring your own mic, and I'm always grateful for that. So, uh, but I would say the MV88 Plus, which is Shure's um, sort of mobile on-the-go recording device. I've used that quite a bit just for behind-the-scenes content and vlogging. In particular, we did a European tour, I think it was last year, or maybe the year before, but it was with the other favorites. And the MV88 Plus made it really easy to just, I literally just have my phone, um, you know, mounted on, on the small tripod, and I would bring it on stage with us uh, for every encore on that tour. So we would play the show, then I'd grab the MV88 Plus, bring it out on stage, and we had this thing going with every crowd in on that tour where we would ask them to yell out the name of their city. And at the end of the tour, we would determine like which city had the loudest crowd. So we got footage of all the different cities, put it together at the end, and um, we ended up not picking a winner just because the crowds were so awesome and you know they were great in different ways and we just didn't want to you know we just couldn't pick a winner you know we're softies so um the unofficial the unofficial winner was probably Ireland because they they really know how to bring the party but uh but yeah that that has been a really great tool for sort of just capturing those moments that are really quick and on the go like in the van we got a bunch of footage and I've really enjoyed having that. It also takes up absolutely no space, like in my bag, um, on the airplane. So, really appreciated the mobility of it. And I feel like the newest chapter will be uh, the SM7. I, this is—I've never had a mic that is specifically designed to sort of be mounted on my desk and used in this sort of podcasting way. Um, I have it permanently hooked up to my output desk here and I think that's really going to make a difference in terms of just being able to you know turn on the equipment and start making a video Uh, a lot of the barrier to making videos is obviously just all the setup and and when you take that element away it just really makes it much easier to streamline and so I'm really excited to have this this uh this new mic well we do have a Los Angeles show booked Um, We've had it booked for a while. We had to reschedule it, I think at least once, maybe twice. Um, So now it's December of this year. And we've played LA, you know, a bunch of times before. Never played it as, uh, you know, uh, what do they call them here? Los er, Angelinos? Just Angelinos, right. I'm learning the the lingo. Um, We've never played any gigs here as Angelinos. So it'll be be fun to be able to just drive down the street and and play the show. Yeah, I mean, actually the LA show is the only show booked in the US for this year so far. We had to cancel a bunch of stuff. Uh, We have a European tour planned for the end of the year. I think it's November. And um, we'll see if that happens. I mean, it really depends on how things go with the vaccine rollouts. And, you know, we're, I know Tony and I are both just extremely, it's hard to overstate how excited we are to get to get out of here and get back on the road and see some people in the flesh again and be able to perform music in front of an audience. I think that there's just something about that that you just cannot get from any amount of videos or live streaming. Um, we're really grateful to be able to do videos and live streams in the meantime, but you know we really live for those live performances. So can't wait for that tour. Can't wait for the LA show. Pretty excited.